Right, hello there, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube and of the Hunter Call of the Wild community, and welcome back to Hunter Call of the Wild. Now, you join me for, yes, I know, another Great One video, but this is not an ordinary Great One video. This is a very, very special Great One. As you can see on screen, there he is, Mr. Ten Fabled Red Deer, just chilling there, but he's no ordinary Great One. He is my 30th Great One that I have managed to spawn in this game, so 30. I, When I first got this game for PlayStation and I decided I was going to get great ones, I just wanted one of each. Um, a year, maybe two years later, I've got 30 of them. So, that backfired. But because he was my 30th great one, I had to do something special. I had to do something I've never done before. Because I'm never going to get this opportunity again to say, this is my 30th great one. So this was the time, this was the moment... I plucked the courage to finally bow hunt a great one. Now, for those of you who regularly use bows, you're probably like, well, that's not really that hard. Just call them in close, get a comfortable shot. Jobs are good. I do not use bows. I've used the bow once, and I used it for the Leighton Lakes mission to get, I think it's two coyotes with a bow. Um, that's the only time I've used a bow, and I that took me like a whole day to do. I probably fired only four arrows. I don't use bows. I'm so unconfident in bows that I just avoid the whole weapon of bow avoided. But today was not that day. I've been wanting to bow hunt a great one for so long. I think ever since I got 20 great ones, I've wanted to bow hunt a great one. And I never got the courage to do it, or I didn't want to risk a black bear and messing it up, or it was actually a moose that I kind of like, so I don't want to mess that up either. I just found a reason, or just didn't have the courage to go, we're going to bow hunt a great one, we're going to do it. But for some reason, I think it was because it's my 30th great one, I'm never going to be able to do this again. I think this is the moment, this is the time to use the bow. So this was on live stream, and as you can see, I'm trying my best to call him in. Please let me know in the comments if there's any way I could have done this any better. Um, because, again, I'm not really used to calling things in and bow hunting them. So any any advice would be greatly appreciated. But he's over there, and I'm very nervous. At this point, my controller and my hands are quite shaking a little bit. But as you can see, he's actually alert. I didn't realize the bush is hiding me. But he can actually still see me and my dog. I forgot Ozzy was here. So I didn't really factor in that. So, at 69 meters away, of course, JP, what a funny number, I thought maybe this was the chance. But no, I get back down into the bush and I just wait a couple of seconds. For some reason, I grab the 22. JP, what are you doing with the 22? And I go back to calling. Now, I know they can go to alert and nervous. And I think if they go nervous, they don't come into your call. So, with hope in my mind, I uh, was hoping he was actually going to not go nervous and respond and come back into the call. But this was the nerve-wracking part. I can't see him. I don't have a highlight. I don't have a spot. I can just... I don't know if you guys can see. You can just see his antlers moving in the grass. They look like a blade of grass, to be honest. But he was just moving around, and I didn't know what he was doing. So, I pluck up the courage... What's he doing? Oh, great heavens, he's trotting in. Okay, let's let's get ready now. He's getting quite close. 40, 30. Jesus, he's, he's got to be really close. He's, he's got to be within 30 meters. This has to be the opportunity. So I pluck up the courage. I aim the bow back. I get 27 meter in spot. He goes alert. Panic sets in and I take a shot. Please be vital. If this is vital, we're good. Oh, it's vital. For those of you who are like, well... You seem really dramatic about this. This is this was dramatic. I was shaking. I was panicking. I was. This is probably the most adrenaline I felt taking out a great one, and I've done it. I've managed to prove that. Well, to myself mainly, that if I just have the courage to do it, and you know, just take a little bit of time, I can do it. I can bow hunt a great one, no problem. I don't need to worry or fear the bows anymore. So. Seeing that this was a great success, it was vital, uh, the next great one I do get, hopefully it's either a moose or a fallow, 
We will be bow hunting that one as well. I think the new goal is to bow hunt a great one of every great one species. But there he is. 261.09 bow hunted great one. My first ever bow hunted great one. And I'm so proud and relieved that I've managed to bow hunt a great one successfully. Um, not the most comfortable of a shot. I mean, it kind of was center punched into his lung. So, maybe that's a good shot. Again, comment down below. Maybe I could have aimed a little bit more to the right to get, like, a double lung heart, maybe. But I would say that's quite successful, and I now have confidence in bows. But, the Trophy Lodge, we go. Of course, we go to the Trophy Lodge to have a look at where we place our great one. So, where is he? Where is he? No, JP, that's that's Gingy. Is this him? That is him. Yeah, 261. There he is. He does have a name. His name is, of course, Bo, because, well, I took him out with a bow, and I think he just deserves that name. And he's actually next to my first ever great one I ever got, which is another red deer. Scores way lower than him, but I thought, you know, my first ever great one I got in the game, and my 30th great one, both red deers, I feel like it just seemed right to have them both together. It just seemed like, you know, the one on the left-hand side of your screen... The first ever great one is looking at him saying, Well, hey, wasn't expecting to see you here. Um, was only expecting to see maybe a fallow and a whitetail, a moose and a bear, but I'm happy you're here. But then running back and just looking at that, all these great ones, my accomplished, I feel accomplished. But thank you for watching. Stay safe. Happy hunting. All the good stuff. And I'll see you later.